Okay, we've got our sheet up. Welcome back to the second part of this video. If you missed the first part, we used the drywall sheet lifter and we got, this, got the sheet up. We also cut it out in that first part. This is the second part. This is the taping part. Now, we are gonna try and get this whole job done in the day, painted and everything like that. And this is the only way to do it. I've already mixed up some mud. It's a corner cement 45, it has a 45 minute life, but lately it's been only 30 minutes, but it goes off really fast. It's very strong. Don't use any pre-mixed taping compounds if you're trying to do it in a day. Never gonna happen. The other secret tip is I've just pulled off enough for my taping coat. And we've got some plaster accelerant here. All right, this is an Australian product. I'm sure you'll have something in the USA or Canada, wherever you're from, which is the equivalent. Pop in about that much. Give it a good mix. Now you've probably got about five minutes now. All right, so we're gonna do the first coat with this, I'll even add a little bit more. Taping coat with this. And we won't have to mix up again because there'll be still 30 minutes left in that. Then, that's not all folks. To be able to do it all in a day, you're gonna need some kind of fan or drying device. So as soon as I've got this done, I'm going to get the fan on it and get it drying before the next coat. Okay. I've got my fiber fuse. Now I like fiber fuse because it doesn't bubble. And if you're just starting out, that's perfect for you. Perfect. All right. So I've already scraped everything back. I'll just go around quickly. Just quickly fill. Now if you're using paper tape, you really definitely have to pre-fill everything. Just roughly, doesn't have to be perfect. Get the main stuff filled up. Because especially with paper tape, once you put the tape over, you can't get any more mud in the joint. That's why I squeeze it up there like that. Okay, once that's done, you can just go around the whole lot. And because this is a small patch, I'll just do the whole lot. Good thing about fiber fuse as well, is if you get a bit of a dry spot, it's not gonna flip out and bubble on you. Why well, it's good using a hawk, normally you can catch, if you get a little bit fall off, you can catch them like that. That's what I like about it. There we go. Tape, go where you started. Get the end, now you don't really want to overlap this as well. Squeeze it out, add a fair bit of pressure, obviously not too much, and line it up with the middle of that groove. Line it up with the middle of the tape. It's a little bit off, don't worry. And wipe your excess on the ground. 
There we go, line it up again. Squeeze it out nice and firm. Leave it on there. Like that. Line it in the middle. Going good. Now we just got this butt joint to do. All right, that's it. Now, we we'll probably need to get a bit more mud for this. So we'll get a bit more mud. Get some more of this, don't forget this, because we need it to dry. Okay, give it a good mix. Try not to breathe it in at all. Or you might be real thirsty later. All right, that's a good, that's a good paste. Now, done with the fiber fuse. Now, I just call this glazing the turkey for Thanksgiving. I do actually need to move fast now because it's drying, which is what we wanted. Bit of a reach. Take your excess away. And what I like to do, get my big blade, and just go like that. Just gonna flatten everything out. That's beautiful. Now, don't forget to do your center screws. I do three swipes because that way if you do two you kind of uh, you need to scrape it back before the next coat really just gets it in the end and that's it. Now you want to quickly because you're racing against the clock here pretty much all day go like that dry and mud is still going to be good and that's drying off already and that's our patch two more coats over top of that this will be for the second coat and then top coat and that's it